restaurants, eating out. It's one of our favorite pastimes when we travel. It can be slow and luxurious, or fast. And if it's fast, there's one restaurant chain we all know. It's the one that changed how we eat around the world. The restaurant? McDonald's. Remember this? If you vacation in one of the more than 100 countries around the globe that has a McDonald's, you'll probably hear that tune. And see this face. Today, over 46 million people sit down and chow down at one of over 30,000 McDonald's to get their break every day. And while you might think every McDonald's is the same anywhere you travel, we found McDonald's restaurants unlike any you probably have ever seen. Get ready to supersize your travel adventure because the most unique McDonald's in the world are next. Burgers, fries, shakes. What we know today is fast food all started with these two brothers, Dick and Maurice McDonald, in San Bernardino, California. In 1948, they decided to open a restaurant that served mass-produced hot food quickly for the masses. Some of you might even recognize their logo from those days. His name is Speedy. Little did Dick and Mac know they were creating a whole new way of eating for the entire world. Ron Piazza is the franchise owner of one of the very first McDonald's ever built. We took your order, we had our products ready to go, and you were out the window, and it wasn't a car hop, it wasn't sit down, and it was the first of its kind. We enlisted the help of a McDonald's fanatic when we went looking for the 10 best. I have a Big Mac today. And Peter Holden told us everything we needed to know about what makes a McDonald's different. For good reason. He claims to have been to nearly 12,000 of them. As of the last trip that I just came back from, I've uh, been at 11,928 different McDonald's in North America. And no two are exactly alike. Peter collects McDonald's dining experiences like some people collect baseball cards. His first criteria? Well, I will look at the menu Look for anything new and strange, especially when I'm traveling. Try to find something different if I possibly can. Peter took us to our first unique McDonald's. To find it, we traveled to Downey, California, just east of Los Angeles. Before there were Big Macs or McNuggets to dip in honey mustard sauce, there was this. From a historical standpoint, my favorite McDonald's, perhaps of all time, is in Downey, California. Built in 1953, would you believe that this Golden Arches restaurant is so important it's listed on the National Register of Historic Places? So why would a fast food restaurant be on the same list as the White House? There are 30,000 McDonald's restaurants around the world. We are the oldest operating one. They all came after us. This McDonald's is the granddaddy of an American institution, and that's why it's the world's oldest operating McDonald's. But how did the Golden Arches become the gold standard for all fast food? Think milkshakes. Dick and Mac McDonald owned eight thriving McDonald's restaurants in the 50s. Business was so good, in fact, they needed to order eight new milkshake mixers. The multi-mixer is the key ingredient in the McDonald's story. And when Ray Kroc received the order for eight multi-mixers, he couldn't believe it. He knew he needed to be part of this historic event to spread McDonald's across the country. Ray Kroc, the multi-mixer salesman, immediately licensed the McDonald's name and speedy service. An empire was started. It's truly the American success story. Ray Kroc comes up with an idea, franchises one restaurant that leads to thousands and thousands of restaurants throughout the world. The very first arches were built to hold up the roof, not to advertise the restaurant. 
The McDonald's logo actually started from the architecture developed at this restaurant. If you look back from an angle, you can see the McDonald's logo built in on the side of the building. Today, that McDonald's logo is easily the most recognizable icon in the world. Step in here. If you love Big Macs, then you're walking on seriously sacred territory. It's the McDonald's Museum. You can check out a cash register from the very first restaurant. But this might be the most important item in the museum, the milkshake mixer that started the McDonald's empire. If you want to run one, just sign up for Hamburger University, because that's where they train you to run and own a franchise. The oldest operating McDonald's might be one thing, but for our next most unique McDonald's, we found one that will really surprise you. Got a passion for supersized fries? Or a true talent for eating quarter pounders with cheese? Don't worry, take a trip here to New York City and you'll be living your dream in no time because with almost 600 McDonald's to choose from, you're not gonna have to look very long to find our next pick. We headed to the heart of Manhattan to one of the most famous corners on earth, Times Square. 42nd Street and Broadway. It's here that mega-hit musicals like Phantom of the Opera and the producers wow audiences from around the world. Every year, the bright lights of this famous intersection draw people with big dreams and big appetites. No, Ronald McDonald's not starring in his one-man show, but it does look like a theater starting with this, an authentic Broadway marquee. First time we walked by, uh, the, all the lights were on and it was in the uh, summer and, and uh, we were burning up. We couldn't believe how hot it was underneath the, uh, the, the wattage there. It's uh, more wattage than a lot of Broadway shows. It's kind of scary. This thing glows and it rocks and when you go down 42nd Street and you take a look at the McDonald's sign, you can't help but stop and say, wow, look at that McDonald's restaurant. With 7,500 glittering bulbs, this show-stopping sign soaks up a lot of watts every day and demands more attention than a Broadway star. So we actually had to go out and get our own boom truck, and one of our people on staff is actually up there changing bulbs every day. If you think this place looks like a theater on the outside, wait till we take you backstage. When you walk in, you know something is very different. Look around this McDonald's, and you'll wonder if you're here for a Big Mac or a casting call. We're naming this center stage fast food star the world's most entertaining McDonald's. When we had the opportunity to develop the location and come up with a theme for the store, it was a natural for us with our four levels to think about doing something that related to the backstage theatrical feel of the neighborhood. The backstage atmosphere is just the setting for so much more. You want entertainment? You got it. 60 video and plasma screen stream movie trailers, McDonald's trivia, and even info on Times Square. It's all designed to make you feel like you're auditioning for the McMeal of a lifetime. We get a lot of actors and people in the theater industry that work in the area that stop by and really enjoy this McDonald's. They feel that it's really very funky and cool and it makes them feel like they're really in an environment that relates very much to the backstage theatrical setting that we've tried to achieve. But where does all this moody atmosphere and smell of the grease paint feel come from? Look up way up. The spotlights spinning logos throughout the restaurant are real theatrical lights. In fact, all the lights in here are straight off the Great White Way. And We chose Altman Lighting, who are the number one uh, manufacturers and distributors of theatrical stage lighting. Something else that stands out here? Everything is oversized. It has the biggest McDonald's kitchen in the world with 18 feet of sizzling grill space 
a necessity when you're cooking for over 5,000 customers a day.